you ever found yourself thinking about what was in order to get through what is? Not as a way to avoid what is, but because you know or you remember what it can be again. We live about an hour from the coast and we try to get out there every so often, especially during the summer months uh, where it's warmer. Obviously being on the Pacific Ocean in the Pacific Northwest area, temperature of the water still freezing but the beautiful sunny days brings warmth and makes the beach very enjoyable. This was one of those days last summer. The kids got to splash around in the ocean, dig trenches. I'm still not exactly sure what they were making. Uh, I believe some sort of fort or something like that. Contrast that with the beginning of winter. Here in Oregon, winters are less about snow and freezing temperatures and more about rain and mid 40 degree weather. And when the rain begins in late fall, it has a tendency to stick around for quite a while. Hence the knock on the Pacific Northwest. And yet, Every good Pacific Northwesterner knows that winter is only for a time and they have fond memories of summer's past, keeping hope alive for what will come once again. You're sitting in like the worst possible spot. You see, everything in life is for a time, for a season. As one of my favorite childhood comedians, Mark Lowry, once said, no matter what you're experiencing in life, know that it'll pass. It'll pass or you will pass. So maybe you're going through a difficult season in life right now. It'll pass. Can I encourage you with two promises from the Lord? First, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. That's from Hebrews 13. And then second, that enduring the trials of life produces steadfastness of our faith in him. That's from James chapter 1. If you're going through a difficult season of life right now, know that it's for a season. And perhaps thinking of what was will give you the hope and the strength for enduring what is, so that shortly you can experience the joy of what's to come.